Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 26. Let's take one more example. e to the power x plus e to the power x squared dash 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 till e to the power x to the power f. Solving this is simple, e to the power x if you differentiate, it gives e to the bar x only. This is a composite function again. Why? Because this guy can write as t. So let me solve first e to the bar x square first. e to the bar x square, I can write as e to the bar t. That is t is equal to x square. So if I want to find dy by dx, if y is equal to e to the bar x square now, let's suppose I'm taking this guy only first now. dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt into dt by dx. Why? Because the first equation I have in terms of y, y is equal to e to the power t and second equation I have in terms of t and x. So from first equation if y is equal to e to the power t, dy by dt is also e to the power t and dt by dx is nothing but 2x because t is equal to x square. So my dt by dx is nothing but 2x. e to the power t into 2x. What is the value of t? is x square so this becomes e to the power x square into 2x correct same thing the next term is e to the power x to the power cube because that is not visible here but the next term is e to the power x to the power cube same thing i'll do so y is equal to e to the power x to the power cube that i will write as nothing but y is equal to e to the power t1 so here t1 is equal to x cube so my dy by dx here is nothing but dy by dt1 into dt1 by dx. dy by dt1 is nothing but e to the power t1 because y is equal to e to the power t1. So this becomes e to the power t1 into dt1 by dx is nothing but 3x square because t1 is equal to x cube. So dt1 by dx is nothing but 3x square. So e t1 into 3x square and what is t1? t1 is nothing but x cube which becomes e to the power x cube into 3x square. Correct. Similarly e to the power x4 and e to the power x5 I have to find. So let's do this. y is equal to e to the power x to the power 4 is nothing but e to the power t2. I assume this guy is t2. That is t2 is x to the power 4. Here also same thing dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt2 into dt2 by dx. What is dy by dt2? y is equal to e to the power t2. So dy by dt2 is e to the power t2 only. And what is dt2 by dx? That is 4x cube. Why? Because t2 is equal to x to the power 4. So t2 I can write in the form of x that is x to the power 4. So this becomes e x to the power 4 into 4x cube. Similarly, y is equal to e to the power x to the power 5 here, the last term. I can write as e to the power t3. Right? t1. So, in this case also I got t3 as nothing but x to the power 5. So, I want to find dy by dx. That is nothing but dy by dt3 into dt3 by dx. And dy by dt3 is nothing but e to the power t3. Why? Because y is equal to e to the power t3. And d3 by dx is 5x to the power 4 because t3 is equal to x to the power 5. So e to the power t3 I can write in the form of x. So this becomes e to the power x to the power 5 into 5x to the power 5. So I've got the value of all these. The fraction value of all this e to the power x, e to the power x square, x cube, x4, x5. Now y dash is nothing but summation of all e to the power x differentiation is e to the power x itself this is big y actually i'll say big y e to the power x square differentiation is nothing but 2x into e to the power x square 2x into e to the power x square e to the power x cube differentiation is nothing but 3x square into e to the power x cube 3x square e to the power x cube 
e to the power x4 differentiation is nothing but 4x cube e to the power x square plus 4x cube e to the power x to the power 4 and e to the power 5 differentiation is nothing but 5x to the power 4 into e to the power x to the power 5 and that is my answer. Correct what I have done? I differentiated individually all these and I added them. Let's take one more example where we have exponential involved e to the power e to the power x root. So y is equal to root of this guy. So to make my life simple, let's square this because you get a e to the power term something. So this is my y square. Now I have to find differentiation of this. I have to find dy by dx. This is an implicit uh, expression. So let's use that formula to find dy by dx. Let's differentiate everything by d by dx. So d by dx of left hand side that is y square is d by dx of e to the power root x. So left hand side becomes 2y into d by dx. Right hand side what is the value of this e to the power root x d by dx. So you can put e to the power, I mean root x as t and find, I can show you for that. So if my, let's suppose y1 is equal to e to the power root x and I define dy1 by dx. So I assume root x as t, so I get y1 is nothing but e to the power t and t as root x, correct? So with this I get dy1 by dt is nothing but e to the power t and dt by dx as this is nothing but x to the power 1 by 2 so this becomes 1 by 2 into x to the power minus 1 by 2 correct so total i get dy by dx as nothing but sorry dy1 by dx is nothing but dy by dt dy1 by, by dt into dt by dx that is e to the power t into 1 by 2 root x in this fashion because x to the power minus 1 by 2. What is the value of t? t is root x. So e to the power root x into 1 by 2 root x by root x. And that is the value of differentiation of e to the power x. So this is nothing but 1 by 2 e to the power root x by root x. Correct. Now I have to find dy by dx. So dy by dx is nothing but 1 by 2 into 2y here into e to the power root x by root x. What is the value of y? This guy. So let's put that. This becomes 1 by 4. y is e to the power root x root of this into e to the power root x by root x. This 4 root I will take in 1. This becomes 1 by 4 root of x e to the power root x and this becomes e to the power x. And that is my answer. So please make yourself com comfortable in solving equations which has e to the power some value or log of some value because these will be helpful to us in solving complex equations or finding differentiation of complex equations. So this is one example where we have y is equal to root of e to the power uh, root of x to the whole root. So there were so many roots I squared it and that made my life simple. I got this guy again and this guy I found the root separately. If you see here I found the root of separately for this guy and that's my answer. Let's take the last example where we can make ourselves comfortable with the log. So the question is log of log x. So here also if you see it's a composite function. So I can put log x as t. So my y becomes log of t. This guy because this guy is t. So I have two equation. y is equal to log t and uh, log x is equal to t. I have to find dy by dx. This guy is nothing but dy by dt into dt by dx provided these exist so we'll find this 
So d by by d here will be from this equation is nothing but 1 by t and t I can write in the terms of x. So this is nothing but 1 by log x. Similarly, I have this equation I can find dt by dx is nothing but 1 by x because log x differentiation with respect to x is 1 by x. So dy by dt is nothing but 1 by log x and dt by dx is 1 by x. So that is my answer. Very simple. See one more method I will tell you instead of doing all this putting this guy as t and all what we can do is a new method altogether to solve such kind of question. If y is equal to log of log x please pay attention here. What I can do is this is nothing but d by dx of log of log x into into d by dx of log x. What I am doing is first I am differentiating the whole thing correct and then I am saying differentiate this guy. So that's how we do. So this guy becomes 1 by log x into and this guy becomes 1 by x and that is the answer. This is a shortcut to solve such kind of uh, to solve composite example. So if you have composite examples, if you have enough time in exam, you can put this value as t and find uh, d by dt and dt by dx and solve it. If you don't have time, if you want to expertise on uh, differentiation, you can directly do this. So what I've done is this guy differentiated, I got 1 by log x because this guy is log x here. So I got 1 by log x and then log of this, so I got 1 by x. I'll take some more examples. I'll try to uh, solve using the shortcut method with that you will understand the concept better. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.